A rectangular box has square ends and no top. Its volume is 300 cubic inches. Part A, write the surface area as a function of the length of the sides of the square ends. All right, so if we sort of imagine our problem here, we have square ends, I'll call them x. All right, and then we have this rectangular box. And let's say that it has length h, or height, or whatever you want to call it. It has no top, so let's just say it's missing this side. But we do still have the other side that's also x by x. Write its surface area as a function of the length of the sides. Well, its surface area would be the one end, x squared, and then we have the four sides, so we have 4xh. Now we want to write this as a function of the length of the side of the square ends. We need the surface area as a function of x. That's what we need. But the problem is we have that h. We have to figure out a way to get rid of the h. Fortunately, we're told some other information. We're told that the volume is 300 cubic inches. Well, the volume is a rectangular box, so that's length times width times height. So the volume is x times x times h. So then 300 would equal x square h. Solving for h, we would find that h is equal to 300 over x squared. And so now I can use that 300 over x squared to replace h in the surface area formula. So then the surface area as a function of x is x squared plus 4x by 300 over x squared. Simplifying gives the surface area is x squared plus 1200 over x. So there's part A. Part B, using a graphing calculator, find the dimensions of the box that minimizes the surface area and the minimum surface area. All right, so we have the surface area function. Let's graph it on the calculator and see where it reaches a minimum. So on my calculator, y equals screen, x squared plus 1,200 divided by x. Now, as for the window, well, x is the minimum size, it is one of the square ends of the, um, is the length of one of the square ends of the box. So its minimum value is 0. A maximum value, I'm just going to kind of guess here, and let's just say 20. Scale isn't too important. Our y variable here is the surface area. So now the surface area is, you know, x squared plus 1200 over x. It's going to be, you know, a reasonably large number, but again, its minimum value is 0. And just for a maximum, I'm going to just kind of start with 100 and see if I need to adjust things from there. And I'll use a scale of 10. Graphing. So I don't see anything. That probably means is that my my range is too small. So let me go back to my window, and let's change out that y maximum from 100. Let's change it out to, uh, how about 400? And let's change our scale to 20. And now I see something. I see a curve that's, min that's decreasing and then increasing, so I do have a minimum. Let me use the graphing, graphing calculator, the minimum command to find that minimum. So I scroll left of where I think it is, and I hit enter once. I scroll right of where I think it is, hit enter a second time, move back towards the middle, hit enter a third time. And so there's my minimum. All right, let me bring this over onto my paper. So this tells me that the surface area is minimized when x is 8.434. So let's just say about 8.43. So x is approximately 8.43. Now what about h? Well, h is 300 over x squared. So that would be 300 over 8.43 squared. Let's calculate that. 300 
divided by 8.43 squared is 4.22. So, the dimensions are 8.43 inches by 8.43 inches by 4.22 inches. And then the, uh, the minimum surface area is 213.41 square inches. And I got that value from the minimum of the graph.